There's a reason British people don't drink this. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've posted. I'm sorry, I just, I've been taking time off been enjoying Christmas with the family. But you know what, a video I've been meaning to do is to make eggnog and try eggnog. We don't have eggnog in the UK. It's something we hear in American movies. It sounds disgusting, I'm gonna be honest. Eating raw egg, it just doesn't sit right with me. Anyway, I am gonna make it. People sent me their recipes. I don't know, it doesn't sound great, guys. I'm gonna be honest, but let's, let's just do it. This is gonna take a while, I don't know where anything is. Bear with. Okay, so I believe I've got all the ingredients. I got so many messages when I spoke about eggnog on a members only live stream. If you're not a member, here's a cheeky plug. Become a member, click join next to the subscribe button and you can get members only live streams. I do them every month and they're very lovely. Anyway, I spoke on there about how I wanted to make eggnog and I got so many messages about eggnog and I've got a couple of recipes that I've screenshotted. One from uh, someone called Tonya, hi Tonya, who says 12 ounces of milk, one egg, one tablespoon of vanilla and two teaspoons of sugar and I feel like that's not right. Even though I've never made eggnog before, I feel like it should be the other way around. One teaspoon of vanilla and two tablespoons of sugar, because one tablespoon of vanilla is a lot. Someone else, who is this? Haley has said one egg, one cup of milk, one tablespoon of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix well and drink cold. Are you sure you don't cook this? Egg is not supposed to be eaten raw. What if I get salmonella? What if I die? What if you kill me? Okay, right, I'm gonna give it a go. I mean, what do I mix it in? Do I put it in a blender like Tonya said, or do I mix it by hand? I wanna do less washing up, I'm gonna do it by hand. Right, I think I'm gonna go with Haley's recipe, and I'm gonna do double quantities, I think, because I'm gonna make my family try it as well, because they all think it sounds gross. Right, and I've got two eggs, so I might as well use them. Two eggs. So, when do you eat eggnog, drink eggnog? just for Christmas? Or is it Thanksgiving as well? Why do people drink it? Where did this come from? Who looked at an egg, a raw egg, and thought, mmm, that'd be delicious with vanilla and sugar? It's weird, it seems weird to me. Also, I've heard you can put alcohol in it. What alcohol do you put in it? Can you do any alcohol? Would vodka be nice in eggnog? Or is it brandy, or port, or rum? I wanna know. One cup of milk. I don't know what a cup is. We don't do cups in the UK. 128 grams. Right. One tablespoon of sugar. So I'm gonna do two. Oh, I'm doing double quants, so that needs to be another 128 grams. Um, you don't want this if you're dairy intolerant, do you? Two tablespoons of sugar. We love sugar. Generous helpings. One teaspoon of vanilla. Let's just do half a tablespoon. That'll be all right, won't it? Guys, I'm not holding out for this. It just, it's not right. It's not right. Why do Americans do this? Nah, I'm sorry, this is, the thing is guys, not only am I squeamish about eating egg, but I hate milk. And that's it. I'm sorry for making this face throughout this video, but I just, I've got a very vivid imagination. Okay. Nah. Okay. This is literally it. Thumbnail. I'm scared. Okay. Guys, I just don't. Oh, it smells of milk. It smells of milk. Are you sure the sugar will have dissolved in cold milk and egg? I know that there will be people watching this who love eggnog and they're watching this so angry with me because they're like, Joel, it's lovely. Why are you being so dramatic? It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. Mmm. Cold eggnog. <sighs> There's a reason British people don't drink this. Oh. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, I don't mind that. I mean, I just thought of it being raw egg and that's what made me pull that second place. The actual flavor of it is really nice. It just tastes like sweet vanilla drink. As soon as I start thinking about that slimy, sloppy raw egg, it makes me want to gag, but it's not bad. I just can't get past that I'm drinking raw egg and I know 
there are some bodybuilders out there that just down raw rakes, so I know it's possible, but I just, something does not sit right with me. Right, I need my family to try this. Right, I've just said I'm in the kitchen if anyone wants to try eggnog, and no one has arrived except for Ava. Ava, do you want some? Even she doesn't want any. Uh, right, so what are your first thoughts of eggnog? Do you know anything about it? No. No, is, no. Is this safe? It, I don't know, you probably get salmonella because it's raw right. egg. I've tried it, to be honest, I think the flavour is good, but the texture is disgusting. Okay. Don't think of it being raw egg, go on. I feel like I'm a man of celebrity. <laughs> Which tea grub juice? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's, just this, look at that in there. Yeah, yeah yellow bits. Just, oh, yeah. it's those bits that it's are gross. It's really making my stomach turn. Yeah, yeah. it's... Flavor's not bad, but it's just general vanilla. If you yeah. didn't know it was you can get that from ice cream. Mmm, it's true. Thank you anyway. <laughs> you're welcome, you're so welcome. Apparently you can add alcohol to it, so we might add some alcohol to it, but I don't think it'll improve it, to be honest. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, try it. No, no, I'm fine, thanks. No, no. Honestly, you sure? I think mum was saying she wanted no, to try it. No, yeah, no, you can no, try it. No, no. <laughs> you have to. No, have a sip. No, Why? Raw egg. Raw egg. Raw egg. You can. No. Just sniff it. No. Sniff no, it. No, I couldn't. Sorry. Dad, <laughs> mate. Yeah. No, I can't. Yeah. I can't even drink milk. Yeah, you can. No. Go on. It looks like sick. It is sick. No. Go on. I don't think I can do it. Just don't think of it being slimy egg. But it looks like slimy egg. I know. It, the taste is okay, it's just the texture. What does it taste of? Vanilla and sugar. It looks a bit eggy oh, that right side. Mm. What's the point of it? <laughs> it's Christmassy, apparently. No, it's not. No. No. Okay. <laughs> Take a sip. No, I really can't. Why? I do most things for you on, on camera, but not that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. You're good, Dad. No, I couldn't. No. Well, there we go. Uh, my brother and his boyfriend tried it. My other brother refused to try it. So did my mum, and my dad went through with it. I was impressed, I didn't think he would. But yeah, hopefully you can see from that, A, where I get my dramaticness from, uh, but judging by my dad and my mum's reaction. <laughs> but secondly, it's, yeah, it's not just me. Brits think it's weird. The taste, as I've said a million times, the taste was okay. I'm not against that. But as my mum said, if it was something custardy, obviously you'd cook the custard with egg, you'd cook it over a heat, and that's fine, but for some reason, Having it raw is gross, so is there a way that you can cook it? Because then I might be up for it, but yeah, I think eggnog should stay in America, really. You guys enjoy it. We'll have mince pies and you can have eggnog, and let's just agree to keep them separate. <laughs> Pour it away. That's where you belong. And don't worry about COVID, guys. I had separate glasses for each household. Anyway, I hope you've all had a great Christmas. Mine's been very good, it's been lovely. I've just had a really chilled time playing board games, eating too much food. Oh my gosh, I've eaten so much. As you can tell from my skin, I've got quite bad skin at the moment. But that's okay, because I'm eating things I like, like chocolate and cake. <gasps> I haven't opened the Yule Log yet. I'm gonna have some tonight, after this video. Ugh, Christmas is exhausting. Does anyone else get exhausted just by eating? Just by playing games and things and you're like, I'm so tired and you're like, I've not actually done anything. Oh, hello, Crumpet. Hello. <laughs> Hey guys, how are you? So we had a great Christmas, didn't we, Ava? Didn't we crump it? The dogs got lots of uh, foodie gifts and toys and Ava managed to rip all three toys for three dogs, didn't you? And what did I get? I got an electric toothbrush and I got a drill, an electric drill. Basically very grown up presents. Apparently once I'm a homeowner, I will need an electric drill. So it's been a good Christmas, hasn't it? You're so cute. This is Ava's second Christmas and I posted a photo on Instagram of us last year and then us again this year and I'll put it on screen now. 
So cute. Ava is so much bigger this year. I haven't changed, although my mum says she thinks I look younger this year than I did last year. So that's good. I'm actually like Benjamin Button. I'm, I'm reverse aging, which is fantastic news. Also, I was sent this by Derma Dry just before Christmas. What a great present. They saw my Botox video of me getting Botox in my armpits and they were like, do you want to try our technology? It stops sweating from your feet, your hands and your armpits. They've got different attachments. I'm going to give it a go. Here it is. So it's got attachments for all of them. It should mean that I shouldn't sweat from my hands and feet. Which is great, because I'm fine to go and get Botox in my armpits every so often. I don't mind that. It works, it's inexpensive, it's fine. But for my hands and feet, obviously I don't want to get Botox in my feet or my hands. Apparently it's quite painful, it requires a lot of injections. So I'm gonna give this a go. I've seen that it's had some really great reviews. I'll make its own video to document it. Yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm excited to not have clammy hands. That's gonna be so good. I know Lucy my housemate is so excited because she also suffers from clammy hands we're very excited for this to be a new addition to our new house anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please subscribe i post videos every single week although i haven't done recently but i will be and i might post more often in january because we're going into another lockdown i'm like should i just upload more videos should i do vlanuary vlog every day in january i don't know we'll see but yeah that's what's happening i will see you guys soon please like and subscribe and that's it Bye.